Okay, so that's started. So the crews. So here's what I'll just go over really quickly the basic points. But again, you know, I definitely got to go into the E suite, save that document, print it out because there was a lot of um, specifics on there, like extra stars and. <laughs> So um, you have to have a minimum of 5,000 points to be qualified to go on the cruise. Now, just because you have 5,000 points doesn't mean that you get a spot on there. Um, only the top 2,250 distributors will get a spot. So wow. now that sounds like not that many spots, but I mean, if you remember from some of the like stats that we were shown about the company, the percentage of people that make it to even Ruby or pass that to, you know, Emerald and Diamond is pretty small. So, I mean, you actually have a really good chance. Um, the other thing was, <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, you have a really good shot. And then if anybody on your team, um, I'll just jump right to it, goes Ruby for the first time. They don't have to be a new distributor, I don't believe. But, again, i got to double-check the details. If they go Ruby for the first time, they get 2,500 points, and so do you. So right. the distributor that got that will get the points. Um, you heard on some of the calls this week, they've been saying the May fight goal was 10 distributors and 10 customers. Um, just because you get that doesn't mean that you're qualified. Like the rules still apply. You still have to be one of the top 2,220 or whatever it is, you know. You have to be one of those top point earners. Um, and you still have to have a minimum of, of 5,000 points. It just means that you're qualified to be upgraded to a suite. So, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, um, that makes sense. Yeah, if you get a new loyal customer, it's 100 points. They have to be um, actively purchasing for that. If they cancel their order, I don't believe you get the points. Um, if you move that customer to a different distributor, that distributor that they're under gets those points. Um, if you get a new distributor, you get 300 points. They have to be commission qualified. Um, if you move them to another person, you still get to keep the points. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, plus 300 points. Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm looking and I'm thinking, like, I'm not going to get any points for loyal customers. Like, my goal is to get the distributors. Yes. And yes. the next part of this, if your new distributor gets the four LCs within 30 days, um, you and the distributor get 500 points. Um, so that's really where your money is right there. Get your 10 distributors first. Yes. Get them to get their four LCs, which they want anyways. That also gets you fast start qualified. So you get a bonus for that too. So that's yeah. just basics of that. Like I said, I would definitely, I need to read over the details, but, um, yay. Yeah. I I, so oh my goodness. I did. I've like already made up my mind of going like someone asked me, um, there's an event that I usually volunteer with and they told me today they found out the date and it was November 5th. And I was like, Oh, I, I already have something I'm going to <laughs> during that time. Like I'm, still I'm, going on a cruise. I'm not going to be there on event day. <laughs> so anyways, um, mm -hmm. okay. So networking, um, what did you want to talk about first? Oh, please. Sorry. Um, no, you're fine. You're fine. Oh. Um, okay, so networking. You know, the business is called, it's network marketing. You have to build your network. So whether you <laughs> already have a huge network um, and you just have to work those leads or whether or not you have to build your network in order to get your leads, um, you know, it, it's, it's about networking. So um, you have to really connect with people. And sometimes, even if you do have a, a large market already, once you exhaust those leads, you have to build new ones. So um, networking. So is there anything specific you want to say first, Brittany? I was just going to jump right into, like, the limits and how to do it on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect, so, yeah. You guys will hear people say, okay, you need to be adding 10 friends a day on Facebook. You need to be adding 50 people a day on Facebook. Um, you're, you're literally just going to go to, um, actually here, let me see. I'll screen, if I can screen share, if I remember how to do this. Screen share. Okay. All right. So when you're on Facebook, um, 
you're going to want to make sure um, that you are finding, oh, I'm not logged in, uh, surprisingly. <laughs> so you, you're basically just going to go to one of your friends. So somebody that's not in the business, like I would not go to Brittany's page and try to become friends with her friends. I'm potentially stealing her leads. So, um, you know, we all want to be polite here. So, so basically, let me screen share this with you guys. So you're going to go to Facebook. You can see that? Yeah. Uh, it's coming up. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you're just going to go to your friends list. Or you can scroll through your news feed. I mean, however you want to work it. So all oh, it works distributors are coming up. So you guys can see these first few distributors that I have on here are people that are really high up in the company. They're ambassadors. They're black diamonds. They're distributors that I follow. And, um, you know, we take their lead. So, okay, here's somebody that I'm friends with on Facebook. I can go to her page, and really all you're going to do is click on her friends list, and um, you will scroll until you can friend request somebody. And that's how you're going to do it. I mean, it's as simple as that. So I kind of try to target women who are maybe moms. You know, we have something in common. So, um you know, I'm looking at their profile pictures. Um, I, I don't really want to go for any men, so that's just my preference. There are several men who make great It Works distributors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so that's it. You send them a friend request. <clears throat> now, that's just the first part of it. So the second part of this is really the follow-through, the follow-up. So once they accept your request, you're going to come into your friend request, and you can see, okay, Sarah Maria has accepted my friend request. So the first thing I want to do, and you may not have lists set up. Confirm. All right, hold on, sorry, I accidentally deleted that one. So we'll confirm her right here. Uh, <clears throat> okay, we'll do Alexis. So she's on our team, but that's okay. So I can confirm her request. And then what you're going to do is go to their page. I have my list set up, so I'm going to add her to um, another list. There we go. So I'm going to add her to one of my other lists here. And basically what this does, if you guys haven't done lists, I'm not going to really get into it, but um, you can post things and just how you can change your privacy, you can also change um, what people see a post. So if I post something to just my team, only my team will see it on Facebook, not everybody I'm friends with. So once you've accepted the person's friend request, the important part here is that you're liking and commenting things on their page. This is going to increase your post in their newsfeed. And that's really important because, um, here, I'll stop this. You guys get the point. Um, that's really important because it goes into that algorithm of Facebook, which is, you know, like I said, the more people that comment on your page, you know, if I'm always commenting on Susie Q's page, her stuff is always going to pop up in my newsfeed first. Um, so, you know, once you accept somebody as a friend, I just kind of saw this in a video today. Write that person's name down. They're not a potential yet because maybe they haven't liked one of your It Works posts and you guys haven't spoke about It Works, but write down their name so that in a couple days or next week when you're following up with prospects, people who could possibly be a potential customer, you can remember that you added her since you've added, you know, 50 people in one day. You can remember, okay, wow, Alexis, you know, really looks like we would have some stuff in common. She looks like she's really fun and cool and her kids are so cute or, you know, whatever. Her dog is so cute. So that you can go back and follow up with them and comment on their page and you don't forget who they are, right? Because that's the point of this business. You're building the relationship. Um, these people don't know you except through social media. So you need to gain that trust. Um, you know, I mean, would you rather buy new new shoes from just some random place or the ones that your best friend was like, Oh my God, I got these shoes and I absolutely love them. You know, you would go with somebody that, that, you know, right. <clears throat> um,
Facebook jail. So I don't, do you remember what the follow limit is on Facebook? I don't. I don't. I just know that I maxed out. Yeah. So if you I follow am. too many people or friend request too many people, it like locks you out. You go into Facebook jail. And I think a message pops up. Doesn't it say something like, um, you're unable to make requests at this time? Yeah. And I had, I think I was in jail for 48 hours. Yeah. I think it's two days. And there's some that get in longer just depending on yeah. what they decide to do. But yeah. And that's maybe you, you know, did too many friend requests. Maybe someone reported your page as like spammy. Which, right. Right. You know, maybe it's not, maybe it is. And then you need to kind of reevaluate what am I posting on my page? Am I showing myself using the product, my friends using the product, or am I just showing all like ads and, you know, some really cool photoshopped picture of products. Right. Um, so yeah, you'll get out of Facebook jail. Don't worry about that. Just wait a few days. I kind of take it as like, I think Brittany and I talked about like compliment, right? You're like, yay. I <laughs> enough people. Yay. That, you know, yeah. <laughs> Growing. <laughs> um, I know for Instagram, if you're on there, um, you can follow 100 people per hour. Um, and I believe it's a thousand people per day. Um, I don't ever get that far. I shoot for um, when I'm working Instagram and I'm really trying to grow, I shoot for 300 people a day to follow. Um, and it takes time because then when you get blocked after one hour, um, you know. So again, just remember when you're networking and you're adding these people, write their names down so you can follow up with them. Um, liking versus commenting. So you wanna make sure when you're working your business and your potentials, you guys are working smart. Um, you're not just scrolling Facebook and scrolling and scrolling. And yeah, you're liking a picture, you're liking pictures, but you, you wanna make a connection with the, those people. So you, you wanna be more thoughtful. Your time is gonna be better spent if you are commenting on those photos and you're really taking an active interest in this person's life, you know, if they have a family issues or if they have a celebration and their kids doing really good at school or they got a big promotion at their job, you know, um, you want to be a part of that. So comment, I always think commenting is, is better than liking. I know, um, I don't always do this on Facebook, but I do it on Instagram a lot before I post anything. Um, I have to comment on five pictures and then I have to like five pictures. So before I can post, I'll kind of make myself do that. Um, and sometimes, you know, it does take a little bit longer, but it's worth it. Um, awesome. anything else on following? No, no, that was good. Um, the other thing I think we talked about was like, be picky on the friends that you're with. I think when I first started the business, I was always, I wanted anybody and everybody, you know what I mean? I don't care if you had some weird, crazy stuff on your Facebook page. Like if you wanted to be a customer, I was opening my doors. Um, now I kind of understand the importance of, you know, if somebody's really like scraping by pennies and, and they say they can't afford these wraps, you know, you can't force them into doing it. I mean, yeah, okay, I guess they always make the decision at the end of the day that they want to spend their money on that, but you know, your chances of them continuing to order probably aren't very good. Um, you know, unless it's somebody that is so determined to like make money in this business and they really have that drive and that why behind why they want to get started to make money. They might not have it right now, but you better believe they're willing to work for that money. They're gonna sell some stuff out of their house. They're gonna babysit a couple hours a week, you know, that's those kind of people. That's good. Um, but be picky is my, my point You're You know, as much as, um, you are looking for distributors. I mean, that's kind of what this is about. You want to network so you can get your distributors right now. You know, we all want these cruise points for distributors. So be picky on who you, um, are, are choosing to ask to be on your team or to even be a potential. You know, make sure you guys have stuff in common and you think they would really be someone fun to work with because if you've been in this business even a few months, you guys know how, how close we all get. We talk to each other all the time. You know, we see what's going on with each other's lives and, you know, hopefully we see each other a couple times a year if we don't live near each other uh, through these awesome It Works events. So, mm -hmm. um, 
Um, is there anything else you have to add for that, Brittany? No, I mean, the only thing that I really have, and it kind of just goes over everything that you just mentioned, um, but it was when I was watching, oh, now I'm drawing a blank, I can't think of her name. Ashley Sinclair. Yes, yes. I was watching her Periscope just a little bit ago, and she was in the car and waiting on her husband, he was getting a haircut or something, and it was three things that you can do right now to grow your business. So just by taking notes from that, I mean, that just kind of, I don't know, puts everything into perspective, I guess you could say, because, you know, what she was saying to do is, um, you know, ask someone to join this business, you know, ask, try, you know, ask someone to try our products. You've got to, you know, speak up. And if you don't ask, you never know. Um, but then it, yeah, it went into using your time, take action steps, and then don't forget to spend time building your connections. And so those three things kind of go back to what you were talking about too, but yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I saw that she was, she's, she has so much good energy and yes. I think she was totally right. Right. Like I get caught in this like loop where I'm like, Oh my God, 30 minutes has gone by. And like, what have I really done? That's making mm -hmm. me money. And just liking 30 pictures and, <clears throat> and adding 20 people is not going to do it for me. I didn't mm -hmm. write those people's names down when I accepted their friend request. Yeah. I might've added them to a list and I commented on some pictures, but if they don't pop up in my newsfeed in a day or two and I don't like something, are they going to come back up in my newsfeed? I'm not going to remember them. So not, yeah. I love that she said, write their names down. Yes. Like, I mean, and that's how you can kind of really draw from, you see people who are going double diamond, they're going triple diamond, they're making these bonuses, they're drawing from this well that they have and it's right in front of them, you know, like yes. it's just waiting to be, to be worked. Right. <laughs> he is waiting to be planted. Um, you, you know, you've already made the connection, so. Right, right. Awesome. Well, it's 8 o'clock. Um, do you have anything else? Or I think that's it. All right, mm -hmm. so network, network, build your relationships. Yeah. <laughs> Let's all get on a cruise. <laughs> I know, I want a cruise so bad.